Hi there, my name is Rufus Deutschler, Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. If you want to be on the fast track with Adobe Photoshop, you need to know about these few tips. The first tip I want to show you is the Scrubby Zoom. If you press the Z key on your keyboard, you will access the Zoom tool. And you will notice up here in the control panel that you have the ability to turn the Scrubby Zoom on and off. If you turn it off, the Zoom tool will behave exactly like it used to do in Photoshop. If you toggle it on, on the other hand, this is how it will work. If you simply click and leave clicked, you zoom into the area in a fluid motion. If you press the Alt key, you will of course zoom out. Okay. Now, the other way the Scrubby Zoom works is that if you click and drag to the right, you will actually zoom into the image. If you click and drag to the left, you will zoom out. Okay, so get used to these very simple movements to actually zoom in and out uh, of your images. Another thing which is very, very useful is actually the fluid canvas rotation in Photoshop. Let's imagine that we need to work on this uh, road sign. Well, Painting on this uh, left arrow here is not a very natural movement, uh, especially if I'm working with a, a Wacom tablet. This is a hand movement that's not very easy to, to do. So if you press the R key on your keyboard, you will now be able to very fluidly rotate the canvas and get this arrow into a, um, into a position that's much easier to paint on. Then, if you go to your paintbrush, for example, and here's another tip, if you press Control and Option together, we can make the brush smaller or bigger simply by dragging the cursor left and right. Okay, so get used to this as well. And if you drag the cursor up and down, you can change the hardness of the brush. So up will make the, uh, the brush softer and down will make the brush much, much harder. Okay, so this is also a movement that you need to get used to simply by pressing Control and Option on your keyboard while using any tools that actually behave like a brush. Then I'm able to come in here, do all the, the painting that I need to do. Let's make it a smaller brush here and start painting on the road sign here. Okay, something like this. All right, and which is much more natural here with my hand. Okay, very good. And then if you want to move back out of the rotation, all you need to do is to press the escape key. Boom, and we're back to where we were before. And then back to my zoom, I will zoom back out and look at my image again. Another thing that is very, very useful, and let me zoom into this area over here, is that if I press the control option and command key, by using any of my brush tools here, I'll actually access my color HUD here. And I can choose colors directly out of my, uh, my color spectrum here and change the, um, the, the intensity of the color. And if you leave it clicked, and this takes some getting used to, if you leave it clicked and press the space bar, you can then move over to the other color values here, let the space bar go, change those, okay? Press the spacebar, move back over here, and move it to the color that you need. For example, like this. And then you can continue to paint inside of your artwork. So, knowing about these, uh, these navigation tips, the fluid canvas rotation, which makes it very easy to turn the canvas just as a piece of paper, the scrubby zoom tool, and then the, uh, the possibility to increase and decrease and change the hardness of your brushes simply by pressing control and option keys on your keyboard and the fast color sampler will make it much, much easier and faster for you to work on your Photoshop illustrations. So, ready, set and go create with Photoshop CS5.